And as his legal jeopardy has worsened, Trump's fascistic rhetoric has escalated. And I have asked on more than one occasion, multiple occasions to be more accurate. We almost have an entire year of this kind of violence inciting, inciting rhetoric ahead of us. And I added that I used the word almost because I knew, and I'm not alone, that his violence inciting rhetoric was going to escalate. I then asked, can this country withstand and survive an entire year of this kind of violence inciting rhetoric? And that was when Trump was just acting like a dictator wannabe. I had no idea that just a few days later, he would start quoting some of history's other mass murderers. But that's exactly what he did. And this takes us back to the middle of last month when Trump started emulating both Benito Mussolini and, of course, Adolf Hitler. Perhaps we should start referring to him as Adolf Assolini. This is what he posted on his anti-social media site. Quote, we pledge to you that we will root out the communists, Marxists, fascists, and the radical left thugs that live like vermin within the confines of our country that lie and steal and cheat on elections. They'll do anything, whether legally or illegally, to destroy America and to destroy the American dream. The threat from outside forces is far less sinister dangerous and grave than the threat from within. Our threat is from within, end quote. What pleased me in the aftermath of these disgraceful fascistic commas was that the mainstream media suddenly became more comfortable with using the words Hitler and Mussolini in their headlines. When someone who's running to lead a democracy starts quoting dictators like that, the media does a disservice to the American people by not using their names. And just for the record, nobody is trivializing what any of these dictators did in their time. We are merely pointing out the fact that Trump is not only following in their footsteps, but now quoting them verbatim. And again, I believe it is a gross dereliction of duty to not report that because it's the truth.